Hello, my name is Emily. I'm a nail artist and the founder of Gel Care. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create daisy flowers. For this look, we will be using wild honey, coffee, and coconut milk. However, feel free to use any other color combination that you vibe with. For example, you could use sunny side up for the center of your flower and French Alps for the petals. At Gel Care, we like to use coconut milk as a bottom coat as it enhances the natural beauty of your nails. You can apply one coat for a sheer translucent look and for more opacity layer one to two additional coats to your base. Cure each coat for 30 seconds. Once you finish your base or your bottom coat, it's time to get started on the flowers. Using your dotting tool, determine the placement of your petals by placing small dots of wild honey equally spaced in a circle. Keep in mind that the center of your circle will become the center of your flower. To shape your petals, use your dotting tool again to spread out each dot into a teardrop-like shape. To create the outer tip of your flower, with very light pressure, define the edge of your petals. You can use your dotting tool here or liner brush if you prefer. Repeat these steps according to the number of flowers you would like on each nails. We advise that you cure your artwork for 30 seconds between each flower to prevent the gel from shifting and blending. Depending on the size of your nail bed, create flowers while keeping in mind that you need to leave space between them for a more minimal and airy look. The number of flowers can vary from one nail to the next. Also, keep in mind that you can create partial flowers on the edges of your nail bed. With a clean dotting tool, place a drop of coffee in the middle of your petals to create the center of your flower. To add realism to the flower, make the center dot a slightly irregular circle. For nail art created using a dotting tool, a simple coat of top coat is not enough to level out the surface. To create a smooth finish where you cannot feel the bumps of the flowers, first apply a coat of top coat and do not cure it under the lead lamp. While the top coat is still wet, use your brush to drag a small amount of extra top coat over the flowers. When leveling out nail art, it is key to work quickly and cure as you go. If you work too slow, the gel will settle, exposing the flower bombs or leak down into your cuticles. Cure the gel care top coat for two 90 second cycles to maximize the shine of your manicure. 
This nail art is easy to achieve, results in minimal regrowth and showcases the beauty of your natural nails while adding a pop of color.